Hello everyone. Uh, I'm sorry I have a lot of information to share with you today because this is very important for your phone safety. So I'm going to share three main options. The first option is when you misplace your Android phone. You can either get someone call you or uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in your Gmail account. You can call your own phone number. But your phone has to be connected to either a data or Wi-Fi connection. Second option, when you get your phone lost or stolen, there is a way to lock the screens. The person who has your phone will not access uh, your information, your personal information in your phone. Your bank account, your Gmail account, your contacts, pictures, videos, whatever you have saved in your phone. And if you did not set uh, a screen lock code on your phone there is a way to do it on your gmail account that's what i'm going to show you in my computer next the third option i would like to share with you today uh, erase data you can completely erase your phone so the person who has your phone will not be able to access your information so it's uh, so let's go to my computer i'm going to go on my computer right now go to google chrome just open uh, a new uh, page and uh, go to this type in android dot com slash find you have to log in using your gmail account and your password your google account and password once you log in you will get a page like this you will see all the information as you can see I have one two three four five six phones on the same Gmail account so I'm gonna go with the Samsung Galaxy S6 as an example which I no longer use let's assume this phone has been lost or stolen so you will see this information this is the first information you will see about your phone last seen just now which means the person who has found it or stole it did not turn it off yet because if somebody finds your your phone and turns uh, turns it off you will not have access to this information so you will see your name you will see the battery level and you will, uh, an uh, another important information when you, so you refresh the little arrow right here you will see the the postcode you will be able to locate your phone but there is no specific address that's the problem uh, because it's gonna give you only the city and a postal code you know but it's not gonna give you a specific address to go knock on the door and get your phone it does not work like that these are the three options I was talking about play sound secure device erase device if you have just misplaced your phone because uh, at work or at home you put it somewhere but you don't, you don't remember where you put it you can either get someone call you or you can uh, you can call yourself from here play sound your phone will ring for five minutes even if it's set to silent this is an example I have my Samsung Galaxy S6 close to me and I'm gonna show you right now press You can press stop ringing once you have found your phone. Second option and third option, these are the most important options when you lose a phone. So, sec secure device, if your phone that you have lost already uh, is already locked with a fingerprint or uh, a pin code, it's okay. The, the person who, who stole it or, or found it will not be able to access your information because you don't have a code. If you did not set a code for your phone, there is a way to do it here. Secure device. I already did, did it on my Samsung Galaxy S6, so it's not going to work for me. So I'm going to show you another important information. It says lock device and sign out of your Google account. You can also display a message or phone number on the lock screen. You can still locate the device after it's locked. What does this mean? You can add a message to the person who has found your phone. Um, 
with an address where they can reach you, where, where they can return the phone or a, a phone number. So I'm going to show you that right now. Once you press secure device, you will see these boxes right here. Recovery message. It says leave anyone who finds your device a message or a phone number where they can be reached, where you can be reached. For example, let's tell that person, please return the phone to 11 Paris Street, New York. This is just an example. Don't forget the zip, uh, the zip code and also add another phone number, uh, a landline, a friend's number and so on where they can reach you because a lot of people would like I mean to return your phone but if you don't have a number they will not be able to reach you so just another add a number okay and press secure device this is the address and phone number where you will be reached once you press secure device, the person who has your phone will get a notification on your phone screen. Once they try to unlock the screen, they will see the address you have added in your Gmail account and the phone number. So I'm going to show you that right now on my phone, on my Samsung Galaxy S6 device. So this is how it looks when you add, when you secure your device in your Gmail account, the person who has your phone uh, will get this information on your phone. So they will be able to return the phone to the address you have added in your Gmail account. Please return phone to 11 Paris Street, in New York, and uh, or call. They will not be able, I mean, your phone number will not be displayed, the one you have added in your Gmail account but they will still be able to call you on uh, using the calling icon that's on the screen and the third option is erase device erase all content from the device after your device has been erased you can't locate it this is the uh, limitation of this third option if you erase your phone you secure the device because you remotely erase all the information your bank account gmail account pictures videos whatever you have saved in your phone but you will not be able to locate it because you have removed your gmail account as well so once you press that it says all data will be permanently erased from this device after your device has been erased you can't locate it if your device is offline erasing will begin when it next comes online to erase your device you may need to sign into your Google account again just press once you press erase device you will be prompted to uh, to enter your password again your Gmail password and you just follow the prompts so that's what I wanted to share with you today don't forget to subscribe have a good day